How have you dealt with the fame? Hello internet, my name is Catherine and today I am doing a Q&A. I have never done a Q&A before and I thought this would be a really fun thing to do because I really like watching these and I think they're just a fun way for you guys to get to know me a little bit better. If you want to be involved in the next Q&A I do, just leave a comment down below asking whatever you want to know and maybe I'll answer it. Um, first of all, I'm just gonna say, again, thank you for 1,000 subscribers, I just really can't believe it. Um, also, I'm gonna link a survey down below that's for my Intro to Business class, and if anybody would like to take it, it'll take you 30 seconds to complete. I would appreciate it so much. Share it with your moms, your dads, your aunts and your uncles. I'm trying to target women from ages 24 to like 54, somewhere in that range. That would just be super helpful. So I'm gonna link that down below. Now we're just gonna get right on into the questions. I'm from Florida too, and I'm going to school in Boston. How are you dealing with the change? The weather, drastically different. It's very cold, windy. I'm not used to that. The coldest I'm used to is like 60 degrees, obviously. So that's really interesting. Um, I've been layering though. I feel like I'm adjusting a little bit. I can be in like 40 degrees or like under 40 in just like a sweater and like a leather jacket. So I feel like that's pretty good. I know some people were in puffers when it was like at 60, you know, so I think I'm doing okay. <laughs> How have you dealt with the fame? Um, you know, it's been really difficult. People follow me around a lot, but <laughs> no, I'm totally kidding. And I know Eric's kidding too with this question. But again, guys, thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. Crazy. Where do you get your clothes? Love your fashion. Thank you. I love you, Rachel. Um, I get a lot of my clothes from Zara, Nordstrom, Forever 21, Lulu's. I feel like that's where I get the majority of my clothes from those places. And I'm kind of like trying to shift into more like ethical and sustainable fashion, um, but that is just more expensive. So being a broke college girl on the budget, haven't really gotten to that yet, but I'm hoping for my birthday and Christmas I can ask for some of those things. How is college going? College is going great. I love it. There have definitely been days where I have not been feeling great, and that's not because of the college that I go to or anything. I really, really, really love my school. Like, I have not doubted this decision at all. I'm so happy I'm here. Um, but some days are just, you know, a little bit better than others. I'm adjusting. Um, but overall, really, really good. So good. So much better than high school. <laughs> Can you show us how to be an Instagram queen like you? Definitely not an Instagram queen, but thank you so much. I can definitely do a video on how I edit my Instagram photos if you guys are interested in that. I use two apps, Visco and Snapseed. Most of my photos are taken on a phone, but some of them are taken on this camera and I can do like self timers or just have somebody take them. But if you guys would like to see a video on that, let me know. Nick asks, how are you? I am doing lovely, thank you for asking. How are you? Comment down below. This, the best question I've ever been asked. One ply, two ply, or three ply? Um, two ply, because it's right in the middle and we like a happy medium. What do you miss most from high school? Um, I really miss my friends and just all the people who I used to spend a whole lot of time with. I just like you form such a close connection with them and it's weird not being around them every day. Somewhere you've wanted to travel to, but haven't yet. I think Thailand would be absolutely incredible. I would love that. I also just love elephants. I really want to go to like an elephant sanctuary, spend some time with an elephant. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think there. I also think the Swiss Alps would be super cool. Those are two places I'd really, really love to go. What are you majoring in? I am an entrepreneurship major, so I am in the business school, and my concentration is in entrepreneurship. My goal is to open up a cupcake shop. That is my plan as of now. Um, I'm planning on, as I get further into my college experience, really vlogging a lot of what I'm doing and how I'm working to start my business and what's happening there and like that transition, and hopefully I can have this whole video collection of from when my idea was just an idea to when I actually open up my first storefront. I think that would just be so dope. So um, 
I kind of hope my channel grows with me as I grow these next few years. But yes, I have an entrepreneurship major to very long-windedly answer your question. What songs have you been listening to? Also, you should check out the band Pretty Much. I've heard a couple of their songs and I like them, so I will definitely check them out more. Um, I have a fall playlist. I have a couple different playlists uh, based on seasons. So, um, because I don't really do like types of music, I like to listen to a little bit of everything. So my playlists vary a lot. Um, one of my favorite songs right now is The Butterfly Effect by Ryan Hemsworth. That's a really good song I've been liking. Uh, Caged Bird by Miles Cameron, really good, gets me in the feels. Speaking of by Soli Had. Really good. Um, my favorite song right now is Spooky Boy by Danny Gonzalez, and I really want to recreate this video, so um, yeah, I love it. That has curse words in it, so never mind, I'm not gonna play it, but it's such a good song. A Without Me by Halsey. Really good. Uh, Let You Down by NF. Um, Say My Name by David Guetta. Awake at Night by Half Alive. So, uh, yeah, those have been some of my favorite songs right now. Comment your favorite song right now, down below. Somebody just says, you're adorable. Thank you, Max. So are you. My fave thing about college, the freedom. Um, it's also very dangerous because I'll stay up way later than I should when I have an 8 a.m. and I just know I shouldn't be going to bed at 2.30 in the morning. But like, some nights you just do it, you know? That's been my favorite thing, is that I've just had that freedom to like make those decisions for myself and it's been really lovely. Any tea in the love department? No! We are tea free? The answer to that is no. There's no tea in the love department. Favorite prom slash hoko moment? I know exactly what this moment is. I wanted my friend Tori to win prom queen more than I think I wanted anything else senior year. And I was like talking to people about it. I was like, listen, hear me out. Tori is the nicest person. She's so funny. She's so sweet. She cares about everybody. She's so unbelievably gorgeous and talented and just like so humble. And I think that we just need to like show her how much we love her and how amazing she is. And I want Tori to win prom queen. And she did. And when they called her name, I, a couple of my friends and I who like really wanted her to win so badly, we're all like screaming, we're like, yes, Whoa! like it was just, it was such a great moment. And I just love that moment so much because Tori is just one of my favorite people who's ever lived. So Tori, if you're watching this, I love you so much and I miss you and I'm gonna come visit you soon or you can come visit me. Um, either way, we need to hang out soon because I really miss you a lot. Drop the skincare routine. I actually have a skincare routine video up right now, shameless plug, um, but it's been the same here. My skin's actually not super great right now, but that's fine. So yeah, it's been the same, but I'll uh, put that video up in the cards. Celia says, why are you perfect and how can I be like you? You're so cute. I'm not perfect. You're absolutely gorgeous and amazing inside and out and I'm so happy I know you, but thank you. My good friend Brandon just said, <sighs> which I appreciate. And then he said, but for real, how is your makeup so good? Thank you, thank you. I, My makeup today, not a great representation of my makeup. Um, I had to run out the door and I slept in later than I had to, so we just have foundation and mascara on, so. But thank you, if you want an everyday makeup routine, let me know. I already know a lot about you. Hmm, what's something you've always wanted to learn? I would love to learn either how to be uh, fluent in Spanish, which 
is serious but also a joke that Cameron will understand or learn sign language. I think that would be super, super interesting. Uh, did you hear about the whole Alpha Kenny body incident? I didn't. Let me do a Google. Is it gonna make me sad? Wait, is this a joke? Nick! <laughs> that, only kind of funny. Um, Alpha Kenny body, if you say it fast, it's Alpha Kenny body. Um, I'll, anybody? You're funny. Hmm. Transfer to I miss you. I miss you too, but I will not be transferring. Go Huskies. Who is your favorite person who has grandparents who live in Um, that's a really hard one. I'm gonna have to go with TJ. Um, somebody just said you have a YouTube. Yep. Um, one item of clothing that is essential to your current wardrobe. I just got this jacket and I've been wearing it so much. Let me go get it. I love it. This is the jacket. Um, it's like a corduroy blushy pink color and then it has this like Sherpa lining. Super soft and comfy. It's from Primark. Um, I didn't know we had Primark here. We do. I really like it. So that's been essential for me. What's a ridiculous piece of clothing you bought but will never get rid of? That's a really tough question. Honestly, I own a lot of pieces of clothing that I feel like a lot of people would just be like, why would you invest that much money into that? <gasps> I so know. I so know. I just went thrifting. I don't know. It's been like a few weeks now, but this sweater, definitely. Hold on. I got this sweater and it's my favorite sweater. It's a mock neck red sweater very cute and then my favorite part it has teddy bears in the middle of it we love this i think this is it's absolutely ridiculous but i love it and i'm just never getting rid of it i'm gonna pass it on to my children what do you miss most about your hometown at college we have this ice cream place where i'm from and it is the best they they make these like ice cream treats so it's like similar to a dairy queen but way better and it's just my friends and I would just go there all the time and I just miss it so much because it was our spot and the guy there knew us and like yeah I just really loved that so that's probably what I miss most um yeah so that is all the questions that I will be answering today if you guys want to ask me any more questions down below for another q and I will do sometime in the future make sure to do that um that is all I have for you guys today I hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below I make new videos every single Saturday and I would love to have you hope you guys have a great day and I love you so much bye